Hello, I'm Trevor Lewis. Welcome to the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab. This is a quick video to show you how to save your work in Scratch. Um, I'm using the online version of the Scratch Editor. I went to scratch.mit.edu and I pressed create. Then I created this file. Um, if you're using the offline editor, the steps are the same. So I created a file. It does something. I've got a few comments in here to help my code. If I hit go, it'll say hello and then it'll draw something. And so I've got some work done. I've done enough work that I don't want to lose any of this. So I'm going to work on saving it right now. I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to choose Save to Your Computer. You can see once it's saved there, I can also load it from my computer. So Save to Your Computer. And it's automatically calling it scratchproject.sb3. It's saving it as an sb3 file. So I'm going to rename this file because I always want to have something that um, tells me what the file is. So if it's a, a file for class, I recommend using a, a, a file name that is uh, like the assignment name. So now I'm gonna go into Documents because that's where I like to save things. If you're on a Chromebook, you might need to save to your Downloads folder. As long as you know where you're saving, you're in good shape. You can see I have lots and lots of folders. So you might wanna find a folder or make a new folder and save it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a, a folder here that says scratch projects and I'm gonna save in there so now you can see that it is saved if I double click this file it won't open so to open the file I have to load from computer so now we're in Schoology you can see I'm on a fake assignment here and I've already submitted this once but if I hadn't it would just say submit assignment that'd be the only difference so I'm gonna press this button right here that's gonna open up my assignment submission box but that file I just saved, in order to get that, I have to click this file icon. And then I need to know where did I save it. So I went to Documents, and then I had a folder called Scratch Projects. But you need to remember where you saved it. And you can see that I have several Scratch Projects in here. But this one right here is the one I just saved because that's right now in time. And it's the name I gave it. And it's SB3 is what it says because it's Scratch version 3. So if I hit Open... It will upload and it looks right and I can put in a comment here uh, as well and I just press submit. Then it's there. You can see it's late because it was after the due date. When I click on it, I'm going to get this and it won't be able to show up. I'll have to download it. But you can see there's comments back and forth between me and the teacher right here. So that will allow me to comment back and forth and that's how I submit things one revision at a time. And I just keep submitting over and over again. This revision number will just keep going up. 